two critical steps that my administration is taking to protect American air passengers. First, we just launched a new website, flightsright.gov, flightsright.gov. It features a dashboard we created last fall to give travelers more transparency into airlines' compensation policies. So, if it's the airline's fault and your flight was canceled or delayed, you can check the dashboard to see how the airline should be compensating you, like rebooking a flight or accommodating your hotel room or, and your meals. And today, we've expanded that dashboard to include airlines guaranteeing additional compensation, like cash, miles, or travel vouchers. But here's the deal. If you look at the dashboard today, you'll find that only two airlines guarantee additional compensation beyond the ticket refund. If your flight is very delayed or canceled, and the airline could have prevented that from you deserve more than just being getting the price of your ticket. You deserve to be fully compensated. Your time matters. The impact on your life matters. That's why I'm announcing a second critical step today to protect American consumers. Later this year, my administration will propose a historic new rule that will make it mandatory, not voluntary, but mandatory, for all U.S. airlines to compensate you with meals, hotels, taxis, ride shares, or re and rebooking fees, and cash, miles, and or travel vouchers whenever they're the ones to blame for the cancellation or delay. And that's all on top of refunding the cost of your ticket. Airline passengers in Canada, for example, in the European Union and other places already get these compensations. And guess what? It works. One study found that the European Union required airlines to compensate passengers for flight delays. The number of flight delays went down. I appreciate Secretary Buttigieg's leadership on this issue. And I hope and expect the Department of Transportation to move as quickly as it can to put this new rule in place. It matters. I know these things may not matter to the very wealthy, but they matter most to middle-class families and people struggling to get the cost of, in the first place of getting that airline.